All right, good morning, everybody. It is 9.04, the 18th of December. Time's going by quickly, isn't it? All right, you guys, I'm wanting to make sure this microphone works good while I'm reading a little bit. And I want to say real quickly, come out of her, my people, lest you suffer their plagues. Okay, this place is super filthy, okay? You guys, we cannot help. We can't help what it has become, what it is. Okay, by the grace of God, we were quickened in with Christ. Okay. Christ finished it already. Okay. That's why some of us are saved. Those who believe, those who repent, you know. But you can't keep holding on to, uh, this. You know, keep holding on to this. It's filthy. It's wicked. Those who seek to save their life here will lose it. I guarantee it. Alright, you guys. I got a few of them here. Matthews. Here in Matthews eleven twelve, it says right here, And from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence, and the violent take it by force. Let's go to Matthews eleven twelve. Matthews eleven twelve. Go. And from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence, and the violent take it by force. For all the prophets and the law prophesied until John. And if you will receive it, this is Elias, which was for to come. He that has ears to hear, let him hear. I shall liken this generation it is like unto children sitting in the market and calling unto their fellows and saying, We have piped unto you. You have not danced. We have mourned unto you. And you have not lamented. For John came neither eating nor drinking. And say, and they say, He has a devil. The Son of Man came eating and drinking. And they say, Behold, a man gluttonous. And a wine-bibber, a friend of publicans and sinners. But wisdom is justified of her children. You guys, I look at this like when Jesus first came here. Look at uh, John the Baptist. He, he went straight after the king. Okay, this was a king appointed by Rome. But he went straight after him. Told him, you can't marry her. It, it's a sin. Where were the Pharisees, you know? Even though you don't read it in here, where were they? They didn't approach him, did they? Because they had a fear of him. And they'd let him, you know, they do what they want to do. You know, we're going to do what we do here, and you do what you do there. You got yours, we got ours, you know. They were in control. All of them were in power, in high places, Okay. Moses didn't rule anything like that. Moses didn't try to do that. Moses was just trying to teach them the ways and stuff to really fear God so that they sin not. In other words, Moses wasn't attached to this world. You know, he just he wanted to do the desert because he had to lead those people, you know. That's why it said, and neither did the light dim from his eye, you know, even when he was older. Um, then, after John the Baptist was killed, Jesus came. Jesus went right after the Pharisees. That's what you see. Okay. You guys, this place is ruled by wickedness, evil. Alright, let's go to Ephesians 2.2. 2. 
This is what I've been saying right here. This one, he quickened us in with Christ. Okay. You. <laughs> Let me go back. Ephesians. Right here. It's important that you guys remember who you are in Christ. God, this is His grace. We were quickened in. Even while we were going with the flow of the world. That's why He says, Come out of her, my people. He didn't wake you up so you could keep doing this. Hanging out with your friends. Eee, yeah, laughing worldly still. You know, you didn't want to let go. Even though your friends are all doing this, you know. They're all doing that. But you're still hanging out with them. Eh, you know. Unless you suffer their plagues. I'm going to tell you something. You're going to see a hatred it's just, it's going to be when the restrainer leaves, when the people leave, you're going to be here with those people that you so wanted to keep hanging with. The scripture it says, you know, they'll they're going to deliver you up to have you put to death. You know, you're going to, you're going to find out who they really are. And that's why Jesus said who his true family is. Those that do the will of the Father that is in heaven. Not the ones that you're holding on to here. See, because if they're, if they're not doing what the will of the Father is right now, those aren't the true family. You guys, this is His grace and mercy still. The martyrs are still going to be able to come. The martyrs will still be able to come. Paul did a lot of teaching. Uh, he wrote most of all this. Yeah, it was all Holy Spirit inspired. They hate that. The enemy hates that. And that's what I'm constantly trying to warn people. You as he quickened. Who were dead in trespasses and sin. Where in time past. You walked according to the course of this world. According to the prince of the power of the air. The spirit that now works. In the children of disobedience. Among whom we all had our conversation. In times past. In the lust of our flesh. Fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind. And you were by nature the children of wrath, even as others. But God, who is rich in mercy, for his great love wherewith he loved us, even when you were dead in sins, he quickened you in with Christ. By grace you are saved. Why do you think it says they've taken the grace of God and turned it into lasciviousness? They got no fear of God. If you're still holding on to this world. See, a lot of people are complicating things, really complicating it. And they're making it sound really, really simple. Like, you know, you could keep living filthy and you're still saved. Which is a lie. Because it says in here that there is no darkness in Christ. He's full of light. Sin is darkness. Okay. Listen to it right here. Okay. Now this is Paul. Okay. Paul wrote all this. You know, even that time where it says at this time of ignorance, God winks at. I seen that in 2014. I really seen it. You know, and that's exactly what Paul preached. And yet here I seen it. But to the Lord, that was two days ago. To us, it was 2,000 years ago. Yeah, we're blowing through this world really fast, you guys. We're blowing through it. 
I'd highly recommend you guys. I can't say it enough, man. Let go of this world. Ephesians 6, 12. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against the powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Who do you think wrote that? Paul did. You guys, the evil people, they hate when we read these scriptures. I got an email from somebody uh, how much they hate me because I read this. You know? I'm not going to bother telling you how much they hate. But I'm going to tell you this. When they get ready to kill people here, it's going to be, they're going to have a fervent heat for you to kill you like you ain't never believed. Even your own children. They're not going to be who you think they are now. They're going to totally change the spirit that's now biting in them. Okay, let's listen to this. Isaiah 14, 12 through 15. I'm just trying to get you to start seeing things the way the Word told you, the way Christ told you. Christ told you what they're going to do to you. And if you love them more than Him, you're going to be holding on to them to the very minute end. Could be your wives, could be your children, could be whoever, I don't know. Some people are taking this because they want to be near them. They want to stay around them. Yeah, they told them, well, if you don't do this, you can't come around us. Listen to this, Isaiah 14, 12 through 15. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer? Son of the morning, how art thou, thou cut down to the ground, which didst weaken the nations? For thou hast said in thy heart, I will ascend unto heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the most high. Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell, to the sides of the pit. Let me tell you something. God created everything. Everything. Even Satan. He created it all. Do you think his creation is going to rise above him? Let me tell you something. Anybody, all of us, anything that we're able to do is only because of God dwelling in us. Without him, we could do nothing. Nothing. Here's Luke 10, 18. And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning falling from heaven. Revelations 12. 3 through 4 and 7 through 9. And there appeared another wonder in heaven. Behold, a great red dragon having seven heads and ten horns. You realize that adds up to 17? Seven crowns upon his heads. His heads. And his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven and did cast them to the earth. And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. And the dragon fought in his angels and prevailed not. Neither was their place found any more in heaven. And the great dragon was cast out. That old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceived the whole world. And he was cast out into the earth. And his angels were cast out with him. So you see, you guys, there are... They're all around us. They're all around us right now. Uh, they're all around us, you guys. With a 
fervent hatred. You know, the more we, the more we are out there, you know, this is all, this is all that matters, you guys, the word of God. You know, I'm not going to try to blend anything else into it. There's a lot of people out there doing that. I would recommend you be very careful because everything you need to know is in the word, okay? And I've been saying this the last few days. And now I'm starting to get some real hate mail, okay? Um, and I believe it's got a lot to do with the uh, people uh, blending the word with what they want to say, the world with the word. And something in me feels um, it's a uh, it's all deception. I'd be very careful of it, you guys, because the word tells you exactly what you need to know. Um, this is how I back in when I'm in here. The word, everything you need to know is there. You know, just like, uh, you know, and people say, oh, are we going to be left behind? Are we going to be oh, this or that? Well, you need to read the word. You know, it'll tell you everything you need to know. The Holy Spirit, is, if it's abiding in you, you'll get an understanding. You will have, you've got an understanding already, seeing what you see. But if you don't read it, and if you don't take the word and do what it says, you know, your real family do the will of the Father in heaven, okay? If you're still playing with this, uh, I'm going to tell you something. The second part. People that are here with that when the hatred is beyond anything you can imagine, um, you won't be playing with it no more. The people that you thought you were trying, you were still holding on to, thinking you could change them, uh, you ain't gonna be trying no more. The only thing they're gonna be doing is trying to have you put to death, and they will come and pick you up, and they will arrest you, and they will take you, and you know. They did it to them in the Roman days. Said, renounce it and you can live. Burn a little incense to our God. You can live. And many of them had to die. They died horrible deaths. And scripture tells you that too. And it also says, blessed are they who take part on the first resurrection. And who are those people? They're martyrs. Okay, they didn't have to come that way, but they they had to experience things still, you know. See, I believe a lot of those people with their guns, they're never, they're not even going to make it. They won't even make it. They're going to be murderers. That's why I said, if you kill with a gun, you'll be, you know, and they don't enter the kingdom of heaven. Don't believe me? Read it. It's in scripture. They don't enter the kingdom of heaven. And people out there in the rioting, looting, hatred. Ah, they're not going to enter the kingdom of heaven. You know. You guys. When you separate yourself from this world. It gets a lot easier. You know. It does. It gets a whole lot easier. Things aren't as complicated. I can see what's going on. I know what's coming and how close it's getting. And I still get attacks, dreams. I get attacks. But uh, they're not as bad as they were. Why? Because I've separated myself from this world. You know? And it's getting easier. You know? The love of this, the cares of this, makes it more, you know. <clears throat> Lord's provided. 
you know, I got a cabin in the woods. I said, when we get to the end. Last night I had a dream where I seen a bunch of people, lots and lots of people coming together like we're getting ready to leave. And then I had some attacks like, you know, things that I don't like to see. You know, yesterday somebody sent me a photo of what looked, you know, a huge sun right in front of their place. They took a picture. I'm going, wow. Yeah, if that sun was that big, we'd be burning up like toast, burnt toast right now. So I went back and I, I Googled looking for photos of the sun back from 1970. And Facebook on my computer here loaded up a picture of some nude woman on uh, my laptop from Facebook. Okay. I'm like, what the heck? But see, that's the prince of the air. That's what they do. You know, they're going to be able to start throwing stuff like that on our, on your phones. That's why I don't like spending a whole lot of time on these either. You know, that black, it's like a black mirror. Same with, uh, you see how you can see a picture reflection on it? It is. It's like a black mirror. What is it that they wear on their faces in Washington? Black mask. I notice when you go to the store and you get a soft drink, they give you a black straw. So you're like you're sucking through a black straw. A lot of things, and they're wanting to change things, turn them black, black. I remember a song by Mick Jagger, the Rolling Stones. I want to paint it black. It's the darkness coming upon this place, you guys. Let go of this world. Don't hold on to it. Let it go. Separate yourself from it. I don't hang out with anybody that says they don't believe in Christ. I don't hang out with hardly anybody, period. All right. I meet people. I've shared people. I've given my card to many people and uh, never heard back from any of them. None of them. Um, for years. You guys, most of the world is not going to make it. It's just not going to be a lot. But it is going to be a lot. It doesn't seem like it now with us here. But, uh, see, a lot of people are still holding on to the world. They can't get their face out of their phone. Um, they're just holding on to a lot. Doesn't have to be, but it is. And, but there's people around the world right now that are suffering. Okay? That's, it's not a bad thing. It might seem like it. We're being chased on by Christ. You know, he's, he's, he's trying to get you to let go of this. You know, so when these things are, you find these things happening, even Paul said that. Don't think something strange has happened to you. You know, it's, it's to make you to let go of this. We have to separate ourselves from this world. You know, you can't go and be hanging on. You know, to be born again, you got to hate it. You got a baby, when he wants to come out, it's because he doesn't want to stay there no more. He's ready to get out. And that's how you got to be. Yeah, you know, so what does that mean? It means it's going to be uncomfortable here for you. It's not going to be pleasant. You know, yeah, I got a cabin I can sit in. You know, I got everything I need. Got a car. I can drive. When I need to go someplace to go load up a video. If I want to take a drive, I can take a drive. You know, to get out of the cabin for a little while. But I don't go hang out no place. Just take a drive. That's about it. You know. And then I come back here. A lot of times I just I just want to come back here. And uh, I don't like it out here. This morning before I woke up, I heard a like a bell or a ringing bell it was just before eight o'clock. It 
feels dark, don't it? It even feels dark. Rejoice, you guys. Rejoice. Yeah, like it says, see if you're of the reprobate. How many people have we talked to? They can't hear or receive what we're saying. All right. They're going to change. Those people that can't see or hear, they're going to change into different people. Like the giants are waking up. The giants are going to be the majority of everybody against us. You know? Those that hate us. <laughs> it's okay, though. You know, like I said, many of us will be taken out of here when the time's right. And it's getting close. The ships are at sea. We're in the sixth seal right now. The sixth seal. There's a lot going on in that sixth seal, including those people hiding in the mountains, in the caves. You know, when they're saying, fall on us, hide us from him. You know, if you listen to it. And then Revelation 18 is happening, the ship at sea. Revelation 17, 17, where God's put it in their hearts to fulfill and do his will. That's why you're seeing what you're seeing. All of it. There's a lot going on simultaneously. All at the same time. You know? It's all happening at the same time. You guys, it's getting, the more wicked it gets, and, it, you know, like I said, for years I've been separated from a lot of people. And that's why I got the cabin in the woods. Um, look at the weather, man. We're in late December. New York ain't got no snow. Colorado ain't got no snow. We could end up, the seasons are changing. We could end up seeing the worst winter you've ever seen, even though we ain't got no snow. You guys, stay, just stay close to the Lord, man. Be separated from those, man. If they're, if they're not of Christ, if they can't see what time it is, it's because they got the love of the world. Okay? We've been long time woken up, long time. And if they can't receive it, you know, let them be. That's why it says, let them be who they are. That's about the extent of that. Anyhow, you guys, I'm going to go down and load this video up. And uh, be strong. Rest in the Lord, you guys. Trust in the Lord. And uh, be separated from this. Don't have to worry, you know. We don't love our lives. Like it says in the Bible, the most they could do is take our life. God could take your life and your soul and cast you in hell for eternity. They're done. They're done. This is what they chose. Okay? Remember, they chose this, and this was their destiny. From the beginning. Okay. We love the Lord with all our heart. Okay. And he's cleansing us from this. You know, it's like we got to get a bath. Get that bath to wash off the filth that's on us from this world. You know, I don't like it. That's why I told you I was like on my computer trying to get a picture of what the sun looked like. It was a lot smaller. Way back then, a lot smaller than this guy. Now it's like a big, huge, you know. And nobody sees or notices anything. All the chems are sprayed in the sky. And we're breathing this stuff. You know, everything. They're doing, no flesh would have survived had he not intervened. None. Okay, you guys, God bless you, man. I love each and every one of you. Be strong in the Lord, okay? Love not your lives here. You know, seek Christ. We're not supposed to love this here. 
I heard somebody put a video saying, oh, he's always, I just want to spend it with my family and, you know, be happy. You know, how can you be happy wanting to spend a holiday? You know, it's not a holy day, but a holiday that was formed by the devil. Okay, there's a lot of this here. People have been doing it for a long time. They, they sh But why would you want to sit there and say, okay, I want to shut out the world and just be happy? You know, that, that, you know, no, we rejoice that our names are written in the book of life. But this place is filthy. It's infested. Uh, it's evil. We need to get out of this place. You know, actually, we should hate our lives. It says that in scriptures. Those that love their lives, that seek to save it, will lose it. Those that hate their lives here in this life will save it. I don't see how you could love this. This is in, I don't see how. You know, I really don't. It's, you know, it's everywhere. Everywhere. People with their this, this, you know, and doing all this. They're getting all these little children now. They're, you know, the ages. People go, I wonder what the age limit is. I wonder what. Well, look at what they're doing. Look at what they're doing. I've been watching these squirrels running back and forth after these uh, nuts. Like it's going out of style. Just the time I've been sitting here. So you guys know this, man. Food is depleting in the stores. The ships are out at sea. They've created an illusion. Telling everybody, you know, oh, well, the reason why we don't have stuff in the shelves in the stores is because it's all out there. We got to get those ships unloaded. There was a time our government never would have allowed uh those kind of ships all around our shorelines. Those are Trojan horses, man. Yeah, you know, Trojan horses. Some of them could be container ships, but not all of them. Not all of them. God bless you guys. I love you. Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior. Greater is he that abides in us than what is in the world. All who repent of their sins, call on the name of the Lord, Jesus Christ. Believe in your heart that he died and he raised on the third day. Your sins and your iniquity, all that's taken to the cross. Okay? This place is filthy, man. The abortions, everything. How, how, what do they do? They get taxpayers involved in it. To where now you're paying taxes. And they're giving these people free abortions. Well, they're not free. They use your tax dollars. But see, they get all the people involved. That's why you got to come out from among them. You don't want to be a part of this no more. Be separate. Touch not the unclean thing. And I will receive you. You guys, God bless you in Jesus Christ. Our Lord and our Savior. 